Hi there everyone, my name is Dave West, I hope you're all doing well. So welcome back to the ultimate video test and today I'm checking out the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Now as with all ultimate video tests, I'll leave all of the main camera specifications down in the description and I'll just run through some of the high level features throughout this video to help save you some time. Now this is recorded in the brand new 10-bit HDR mode on the Pixel 7 Pro and this is available on all cameras including the selfie and all of the three rear cameras. So as you can see we're starting off with a selfie camera and this is a 10.8 megapixel fixed focus camera and this can record video in HDR mode at up to 4k at 30 frames per second. Now you get built-in electronic image stabilization and if you want to toggle that off you just dive into the settings and just flick the toggle and then the stabilization is switched off. Pretty handy if you want to just get rid of the slight crop on the image and use maybe a mechanical stabilizer like a gimbal or something like that to stabilize your footage instead. Now this is the first time I've used this option on this handset so I'll rely on you to leave what you think down in the comments. But from what I can see in the viewfinder it's looking pretty damn good. All right, so moving around to the rear cameras then. I will start off with this 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera. And as you can see, we get a really nice wide field of view here. Including this really expansive look at the surrounding valley up ahead and the clouds which seemingly are perched on top of that. Now the good thing is with the rear camera is that while you're recording video, you can flick between all the different focal lengths on the cameras. So you've got the ultra wide angle camera, there's your standard one times magnification, two times magnification, and then the five times optical lens. Now you can see, it takes a little half a second to just sort of snap into focus. I get the image going, but you can see there, the image quality, even in video mode, I have tried this in, in just still camera mode, it's absolutely fantastic. You can see that the image quality is really nice and crisp, even at this five times magnification. Now, you can go even further than that, and go up to 20 times zoom in video mode, which you can see the image does start to break up there. That is quite ideal. As you can see here, but this is more like a needs must situation rather than videos all the time. And you can just pinch all the way back to the ultra wide camera and go back where you started. Now, the image stabilization is a little bit disconcerting to start with because it's so locked and smooth, even the most small micro movements with the phone, even though it's mounted on my gorilla pod, makes it look like you haven't actually started recording anything because it is super, super still. And if I go for a quick run by here, you can see there's hardly any movement on the left right axis. So this is what I mean, this sort of tipping action, it keeps it really locked. So it's almost as if you've got the phone mounted on top of a tripod and you're just spinning it round by hand. It's really good. It's at the expense of a slightly larger crop around each area of the image, left, right, top and bottom. But I don't think anyone's going to be too disappointed with this showing with the ultra-wide camera. So here's the main lens then, and you can see again, a nice lock with the stabilization. Now let's check out the speed of the autofocus. You can see you get a nice smooth gradual lock on the subject. It's a bit slower than when using the standard dynamic range mode, but you still get a nice quality of image on the subject. Now as you can tell it's quite windy. So this is probably a good test for the noise cancellation on the microphones. So the Pixel 7 Pro has stereo audio recording and it's also got a speech enhancement as well. So if somebody is talking, 
and it'll help prioritize the voice over any background noise. So let's just check out extreme lighting subject with the sun. And I've got a bit of a focus hunt in there. But you can see, if you look here at this cloud, you've got really nice definition on the actual cloud itself. You can see all the specular highlights on the clouds and everything, even though the sun is beaten down in front of us, which is really impressive. And you can see changes in exposure handled really nicely so everything gets nicely evenly exposed when you need it so as always if you've got any comments or questions please leave those down in the comments and i will get back to you as soon as possible and don't forget if you're new around here then please do consider subscribing so you don't miss more pixel 7 pro content coming very soon but for now this has been my ultimate video test looking at the brand new 10-bit hdr video option on the pixel 7 pro my name is dave west and I'll catch you guys later.